I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. Coming up, it's spring and it's also maple season. So we're going to do a maple glazed Cornish hen with some very special potatoes and some broccoli. Coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Or if you'd like, please subscribe. I post new videos here every Sunday. And you can even click that little notification bell if you'd like to be notified when a new video comes out. The spring in Nova Scotia means it's maple time. And for about six weeks, sap is running in the trees and being harvested for some great maple syrup. The trees actually act as pumps. Negative pressure at night brings in water. Positive pressure in the daytime when the tree heats up, pushes out the sap. And of course, we only harvest a very little amount of the sap. The trees do quite fine. They repair themselves, carry on. One of my favorite things about this is the maple syrup on snow. Makes a great little snack. Something you should try if you ever get to a sugar woods. Enough sweet talk, time to prepare our meal. We're going to use some rock Cornish hens. And I'm going to basically trim them up, clean them up, put them in the oven at 375 degrees and let those cook. So we're going to steam up the potatoes because I want to preserve the color. But I'm also going to saute up the broccoli with a little bit of chicken broth just to keep those nice and dark green and add some shallots for a little more color and flavor and put together a meal for you that I think you'll enjoy. Our rock hens, very hard to get them fresh around here. So they come frozen. So what I've done is I've thawed these in the refrigerator, probably about 24 hours. We'll take it out of its bag. And it's just a little tiny hen. Dry him off, pull apart the wings and the legs. Just make sure he's nice and dry, nice and thawed. No surprises. There is, there's the neck. For our Cornish hen meal, what we want to do is get our Cornish hens ready. And we're going to do that by putting them in the oven. I always take a piece of parchment paper and put it on the roasting pan. And the main reason being is that as the fat drips off, you don't want it to hit the hot pan and then flare up and get your oven all smoky and everything. So the parchment paper actually captures most of that. And it makes cleanup a breeze, which is something that I like. So I'll put this aside, bring out the rock hens. Hey hens, what we're going to do now is uh, season them up. We're going to use gloves because <clears throat> handling chicken is chicken. Doesn't matter whether it's a small chicken or a big chicken. Yeah, I always have to think of food safety when you handle these things. These have been patted down and dried. And what I'll do is I'll put some salt on them. Liberally put some salt inside the chickens. Turn them over and salt them again. And some pepper. We'll flip them over. This time a little bit of olive oil over the top. Not much, just a drizzle. Just a drizzle. And massage that all around your little Cornish ham. Give them a nice massage. All right, so I've got the olive oil massaged all over the hen and now the pepper on the top. Put my hens on the rack. One and two. A lot of people recommend that you cut the tips of the wings off, but they look good for presentation. So a little trick, take some foil, and just wrap the wings, the end of the wings. This will keep them from burning. And if you like, you can tie the legs up. You want to use butcher's twine. It's oven safe, it's food safe. Pull a circle around, tie a little knot. There, and the legs will hold together. The wings won't burn. And I'll take this tin foil off probably 30 minutes into the cook so that there's another 15 minutes, then the tips will be done just perfect. 375 degree oven, 30 to 45 minutes until the temperature between the breast and the thigh, don't hit the bone, but between the breast and the thigh reaches 160 degrees, the juices run clear. Then you know you're done. So 
I shall put these in the oven. For the glaze, it's very simple. Once the chickens have cooked for probably about 20 minutes, you wanna drizzle some maple syrup on top of them. Let it run down on all the sides. Then after another five or six minutes, give it another shot of maple syrup. And then 10 minutes before it comes out, one more drizzle of maple syrup, and that will be enough to glaze your chicken. For the potatoes, I have some delicious purple potatoes, some red potatoes, and of course, yellow potatoes. Preserve the color. I'm not gonna boil them, I'm gonna steam them. And it takes a little bit longer. It takes about 35 to 40 minutes to steam these until they are fork tender, but it'll make all the difference in the world in terms of presentation. What we do with these, take our steamer, dump your washed potatoes in, cover it up. That has about three inches of water in it. It's gonna create steam. That steam will cook the potatoes and we'll be ready to go. In a frying pan, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of olive oil, let that come up to temperature. Then we're gonna add our shallots. And we're gonna season those with a little bit of salt and pepper. We just want our shallots to become translucent. I've also added some thyme and about a quarter cup of chicken stock. Then you add your broccoli. Stir it around. If you're brave, you can flip it. Then, once the seam starts, turn off the heat and cover. Okay, now let's check our chicken. Been in the oven for 20 minutes, and we shall pull it out, take off the tin foil. We'll do our first glaze of the maple syrup. Okay, so it's been another six minutes, and this time we'll put a little bit on the legs or on the breast, and in for another 10 minutes. Say that my chickens are done. They're done in the oven. Now you gotta cover them for about 10 minutes. And I just made a little tent. I'll go right over them. Plate up some. First thing I'm going to do is take off the butcher's twine. Because that is not something that you want to serve your guests. And we'll also check the internal temperature one more time. These are very handy to have. It's always nice to have a thermometer. So I'll put it right on the top of the breasts, 165 and the juices are running clear. Perfect. All right, let's plate one up. Nice colorful purple potatoes on the plate. And some broccoli. There we have maple glazed Cornish hen, some steamed potatoes, gently sauteed broccoli. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog, where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.